<laughs> one thing news genie now let's go to genie and it was monday or was tuesday that tuesday uh, that uh, jason was there and uh, i was saving questions uh, all the questions oh. f- for now i was pretty quiet okay mm-hmm. but uh, i want to know how was how was your experience with genie plus i am sorry to have to report that i thoroughly enjoyed genie plus <laughs> That's I all didn't we want to like it. You didn't want to like it. <laughs> I wanted to. You wanted, wanted to hate to be, it. Uh, you wanted to hate I, it. I mean, the day started off strong. I w- so I got I got access to the Disney Plus preview thing because I had registered through the D twenty three program that they had yeah. for, for for members, and I was given access to Disney Plus. Disney Plus. I already have Disney Plus. They didn't tell me. I was given access to everybody. Disney Plus <laughs> uh, for free that day, not because it was like some promotional thing and i and i then also paid for it for michelle we both had it because i wanted to and the current price is what 15 dollars 15 dollars a day 15 dollars i mean my day started off strong because actually just before 7 a.m i got a little notification because i was going to be in epcot it it said you know hey get it you know join the virtual queue for ratatouille for remy's ratatouille adventure it holds your hand through the process much better than the virtual queue That's what we have carlos for ever did for rise <laughs> like it's this is the way this is configured now, um, it puts it you know, explains the process to you. It'll take you to the appropriate screen, and then the little join queue button before it's seven a.m. There's a it's a refresh button. You can sit there hitting the refresh button, right? Which mm-hmm. just at the at the stroke of seven turns into the join queue button. They also have you preload your party. Like pre-select your party ahead of that too, so you don't have the whole join the queue, join virtual queue and then have to select the people thing it's that's all done ahead of that so it makes getting in a lot easier i mean i still there's still a problem i think with have with people having to use an app as the only method of getting in that way but it is what it is anyway i had that i was super excited we went over to epcot um because we're not resort guests and we were told this by the app um resort guests are able to begin making uh lightning lane purchases because it, in Epcot, there's two that you can you can make. Each park has two. Um, and in Epcot, they are Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and um, uh, Frozen Ever After. So it's, you know, seven resort guests were able to begin doing that. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's, I think it's a very fair process compared to what it was before because, you know, there are people like me who I don't want to stand in standby line for more than 45 minutes generally. But now you don't. There's not that much of a head start for resort guests. There is some head start, but not like, that much. An hour, you know, months, right? Or roughly. Right. So when we got into Epcot uh, at ten o'clock, we were able to make begin making uh, other Lightning Lane reservations. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I made one for Test Track. I was deliberately waiting to purchase one my my one for um, for Frozen Ever Frozen mm-hmm. Ever After because I wanted to see like what was going to happen when I got to the attraction. Mm-hmm. How long is the queue? versus when can I get in with the, if I buy it now. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, I, I went and also purchased another one because I wanted to ride a second time. So I had mm-hmm. the one that I got for free because of, the, because of the virtual queue. And then I paid $9 for a lightning lane access later in the, in the afternoon or mid afternoon. I was actually able to select a later time Mm-hmm. So I wasn't like forced into a particular slot. I could have gotten one pretty early, almost right away. But I picked like the 220 slot or something. The only hiccup I experienced, two hiccups actually. One was um, not 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 a problem with the app or anything. One was related to operational issues. Uh, so I went to Test Track to to go do our like our um, assigned Your slot. Normal. And my yeah. and my and my time changed. My time. So, so yeah, it was. That weird. could be like, downtime or something too. Yeah, it could have broke. Could be downtime. <laughs> Absolutely, mm-hmm. but but the problem is, is that it now the time that I was supposed to come back to test track was now overlapping with when I was supposed to go back oh, for Ratatouille, oh. and that's on the opposite side of the park. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, so there's no possible, possible yeah. way that I was going to be able to do that. And the virtual queue line, so when you go back, so I went back to Remy's, um, the virtual queue line for that was about 30 minutes long. It's not a fast pass, right? I mean, it's not even meant to be, so no. you don't expect it to be like f- quick. Then we <laughs> headed back because I was like, okay, let's head back over to Frozen. So get over to Frozen, and I see the line, the, the queue is 60 minutes long. So Which, I said, okay. In fairness, isn't that bad. Wh- when can I purchase 
a lightning lane. So I get mm -hmm. in and I go in to purchase the lightning lane. It says lightning lane available. I click on that. I can get it now. So I purchase it. I'm like, okay, now we're now ready for our rock star moment, right? Because we're going to go. Now, this is one of the problems. <laughs> At Remy's Rock Ratatouille Star. Adventure, the lightning lane is on the left side. The regular queue is on the right side. At Frozen Everdashi, it's the opposite. So you have to actually cross over a gap in the regular line, the standby line, to get to the lightning lane line, which kind of makes you feel, well, depending on your <laughs> prerogative, you either feel special like a or, you feel like a, or a heel. You know, you're like, uh... <laughs> And you, and you have to walk up and say lightning lane. Well, just as we did it, the, the attraction went down. Oh. We're like, oh, okay. Well, let's go see if we can get in space 220. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I get back to Frozen, and it's back in business. The queue at that point, again, is back up to almost 60 minutes. And we go in, I mean, and, and almost walk on. I think we maybe we waited five minutes. Right, five minutes, and um, and then I did the thing. I did. I, I I made my move that I make that I don't understand why more people don't do it, but I'm kind of glad that they don't. I we get up there and I say I'd like to wait for the front. Can I wait for the front? And they said yes. Just step over here, do 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 do, and then we get the front, and I proceed to block the picture of little children behind me <laughs> that I will never forgive myself. Of. And I tried to like I make, I make myself small. <laughs> The whole thing of the genie, as I already mentioned before, is not only the convenience that they would bring to ourselves, but I would like to, my my my, my doubts and my my questions are are actually for those who don't want to join Genie Plus and don't want to pay the fifteen dollars. Yeah, or but mm -hmm. how were the, how were the, the how were the lines uh, for those the regular lines? Could you tell that was uh, a lot better? Yes, yes. I mean. <laughs> Yes, there's there's kind of some of it's funny. Like there's a lightning lane available for Nemo. There's a lightning lane available for the Pixar shorts film. Mm -hmm. There's a lightning lane available. I was like, come on, like Big Man. Come. You get really, to walk guys? through a different entrance. I mean, come on. Like, that's, that's cute. Soren, Soren. Um, I think the lightning and that's a non-paid lightning lane. That's that's available to anybody using GD Plus, right? Mm -hmm. The 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 regular I think well, Q paid, is about, but not as much. Correct. The regular line, the regular, I think, standby was 40 minutes or 45 minutes or something like that. So, you know, you have, but, but I was thinking of it from this point of view. Uh, and there's so many other features too that we can talk about either tonight or another night. But, the, mm -hmm. but the, um, for someone who is either trying to get as much done in a day as possible, or maybe who has, you know, this is this is like their last opportunity to do certain things, or they have people coming from out of town they're going to the park with, but they want to make sure that they're able to do certain things that they would have otherwise not been able to do. Um, I think that it's, you know, there were a lot of people paying the extra money to do the lightning lane. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and I know the prices are going to go up on some of the attractions for sure. I know that's going to happen. But I think, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think, I think, I think JPEG, like, he kind of got it right. You can say, no, you can I, say I, it's like having to pay for something that we once had is unfair and everything. And I, and I agree, I, look, I agree with a lot of those things. However, for those who are willing and able to spend the money, this is going to improve the experience dramatically and for those who aren't who don't want to spend the money there is enough other opportunity mm -hmm. and they've made it a lot easier like I'm, I'm thrilled with how easy it is to now join the virtual queue for these attractions that have Good. virtual queues 